You're watching CGTC News, and there is really one story dominating our programme today. Over 100 years and still going strong, Clapton Girls Technology College, with its motto, Wisdom and Togetherness, leads the way for Hackney Girls to become the new women of today. Joining us now, our special reporter Khadija, who looks at the facts behind the news story. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? As we walk through the Clapton Girls gates, we look at the five female icons that have guided us through the portico gates. Emmeline Pankhurst, a woman to remember. Along with the other suffragettes, she helped to secure women's rights to vote worldwide. Let's hear what one of the students have got to say. So why do you think the school has named a building after Emmeline Pankhurst? I think that setting a legacy in stone is a great to way to remind us of her contributions to women's rights. This spirit lives on as Clapton girls prepare us for the real world of work and we now have equal rights in whatever profession we choose to do. That's a great idea to name buildings after such legends. Khadija, I believe you have a story about the lady with the lamp. Ooh, I can see someone. Florence Nightingale is a name we all know. With a little lamp in her hand, she tirelessly nursed the wounded of the Crimean War. Our investigations reveal that similar dedication lives on at Clapton Girls. Teachers give inspired lessons and students improve their exam results year on year. Khadija, I believe you have an up-and-coming scientist with you with something to say. Hi! Unbelievable! True! My hair and Marie Curie won the Nobel Prize for Science an amazing two times. Our reward for academic achievement was a brand new sixth form status and already our A-level results are excellent. That's right! Watch out for a new Marie Curie at Captain Girls Science Lab near you! All this work and no play. Oh no, look, here comes one of the Clapton Girls athletes. Good morning, Khadija. Good morning. I, I found it so hard to drag myself away from the gym, but I had to tell you about Valentina Tereshkova. The first woman in space? Yes, like her. At Clapton Girls, we take care of both mind and body. That's why we've got loads of healthy food and plenty of sporting activities. So, it's healthy students for healthy schools. Finishing on a high note, I see we've come to the civil rights activist Rosa Parks whose courageous stand against discrimination is a lesson still with us today. Indeed, Phoebe. Racism is not tolerated in Clapton Girls. Yes, we all get along so well, and it's an example of how multiculturalism can be a force for good in the world. Couldn't agree more. And now back to the studio. Thanks, Khadija. You've been watching CGTC News Network. I'm Phoebe Valentine-Brown. Join us soon to follow this ongoing education success story.